come back in the kitchen one more time and chef record a cooking program guys today we were talking about gilbert gilbert is back in the days a lot of people forgot what they used to eat in gilbert days remember corned beef remember tuna remember remember saltfish remember cabbage remember turkarmine well today we make your corned beef and rice that was one of the main dish in gilbert days and guys, I'll tell you, to be honest, the drink was lemonade drink. Beautiful. Um, hopefully you guys like the recipe, subscribe to the channel. And it's just, just to remind us with some corned beef and rice. And tell you, it's just brilliant. Um, basically, there's a new link on top of the page where you can click on it and it take you straight where you can get my cooking book to buy. So guys, hopefully you will enjoy the recipe and hopefully you will have a great time. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Welcome back in the kitchen again, guys. It's just it's just amazing, you know what I mean? Um, September month, a lot of people don't don't remember that it is Gilbert month back in Jamaica. Back in Jamaica those days, I remember when my mom and my dad they make corned beef and rice for us in those in Gilbert days. And I remember when Gilbert was blown wicked and you know what I mean I was like don't stay set. and you know, my mom and my dad, they make corned beef. So today we want to show you the recipe again one more time. I did corned beef a few days ago um, of corned beef and rice. So basically, I got some chopped tomato right here, some spring onion, white onion, some sweet corn, and a can of corned beef, ketchup, and some peppers. Um, basically, we're going to salt take off all of those veg. That's one of the main things. You can put some mixed pepper inside of it, but I didn't have any mixed pepper, so I just use all of the ingredients we have so guys hopefully you like the recipe and subscribe to the channel this month is gilbert month september month i remember i remember back in gilbert days when my mom and my dad made corned beef and rice when he was blowing that wing enjoy the recipe and leave your comments thank you so much bye bye nice and lovely so right in this medium sized pot i have a pot on the stove with some oil inside of it roughly about three tablespoons of vegetable oil so basically what we need to do is just fry out the veg so let's put in some spring onion now so as you can see the spring onion is ready and i'm gonna put in the rest of my veg as you can see Looking so lovely and nice. So what I'm gonna simply do, basically I wanna simply say to you, I'm using that roughly four tomato, a large white onion, and a few spring onion. And I cut it up very small. So I'm gonna just fry up this roughly about a nice good three to four minutes. Looking lovely and nice. Nice and lovely. As you can see how that looking so lovely and yummy, yummy, yummy. Fun, guys. So basically I'm gonna pop that corned beef straight inside of it like this. Break up the corned beef. Some people do microwave their corned beef for a nice good 50 seconds in their microwave. Well, I'm just gonna just break up mine inside of it just like this. I have one and a half cups of sweet corn. Have some ketchup i'm gonna put some ketchup inside of it some pepper well back in the days with gilbert i don't think my mom would normally put <laughs> i would say uh, ketchup in this corned beef but you know I me mean, as it goes along you learn a lot of stuff and today i can say i learned so much with cooking you know what i mean different ways and different style Little bit of paprika and a little bit of all purpose seasoning just to bring up the flavor inside of the corned beef. So we all know that you know what I mean when you want your pot to taste good, you have to add flavor to it. So as you can see, I got a lot of sweet corn and a lot of veg inside of it. So 
if any of this corned beef left over after Gilbert back in the days what my mama and my dad would do in the morning they would make sandwich with it but to, be, to believe me I say I don't think they would do how I cook my corned beef now back in the days they would put sweet corn inside of it but you know what I mean as it goes along things and times get changed with things so today we are adding our sweet corn to our corned beef back in Jamaica we never do that so as a cook and you learn more that's what happened guys but as you can see this month is September month I know the month almost ended but remember Gilbert back in the days and it was corned beef and tin mackerel and all these things and sometimes you might have like turn corn meal but if you know what is mackerel mackerel is, is a thing like it red is like in the sauce and it's beautiful so I'm gonna leave this to cook for another good set 10 minutes and then we're gonna be finishing off as I can see oh this looking lovely and nice so now this is finished and we're gonna share it out so all I have to do is just make it just cook down for another good 10 minutes you know what I mean but I was said back in the days they only cook it like how we cook it now back in the days it was like different thing now we had in sweet corn ketchup and a lot of stuff to it just to bring in flavor to your corned beef when you cook it then put a little hot pepper sauce inside of it then you can add that when you're eating it so guys enjoy the recipe and subscribe to the youtube channel thank you so much for watching the cooking program we've got a lot more recipe like this coming up for you gilbert month september enjoy the recipe nice and lovely right here is the rice and now we're gonna put on some corned beef now guys look at this gilbert style This is lovely and nice. So this is exactly what we're talking about. You know? Back in Gilbert style, this can be for rice. If you now have that, <laughs> telling you that exactly what we are talking about, guys. So enjoy the recipe, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo cooking program. We've got a lot more recipe like this coming out for you. So as you can see, Gilbert days. Corn beef and rice. Enjoy the recipe. See you next time. Bye bye.